Hello there, this is Carrie L, and this is my show, Bringing Homemade Back. Today we are making baklava, Greek pastry yumminess. Make sure and give this one a try. Hello and welcome to Bringing Homemade Back. I am Carrie L, and this is my dad. Ken Buck. Ken Buck, aka Grandpa Ken. Today we are making a famous Greek delight called baklava. Uh, a couple nights ago you experienced our Greek dinner and to finish it off you have to have some baklava. So have you ever tried baklava? I've had boring stuff from the store. From the store, okay. So fresh is awesome and it's so easy. So we started chopping the nuts and dad started with a knife and it was very slow. Very slow going. So the nuts I've chosen today I've got almonds and I've got pecans. Traditionally it's walnuts. However, use whatever nuts you like. So we're using a little a mini chopper here to blend them up because uh, this is what you're going to look for. Check this out. So a few chunkies but the nuts a little bit finer. Then it's going to spread easier over your filo. Okay. Woo. Bit more. Okay, hold on. Okay, that was fast. I don't think I have hearing this here anymore. Anyway, so Grandpa Ken is gonna keep going with the nuts and as soon as he's done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna brown these in a pan. Because when you when you roast the nuts and you brown them up, it brings out the flavor so much, breaks open the oils and it's delicious. That's why we're gonna do it. So you keep going on that and I'm gonna go start browning up the nuts. We're on to phase two with making baklava. So Grandpa Ken got the nuts all chopped up and ooh, they're still hot. We toasted them. So they're nicely toasted and I'm stirred in a teaspoon of cinnamon along with that. So here's the fun part. We get to roll out the phyllo pastry. Now phyllo is fun stuff because there's so many yummy things you can do with it. Today we're making dessert. Oh, and it's closed up. Oh. Scissors? Do you have scissors? I have. Uh, I watched a show on the Discovery Channel. Well, <laughs> Philo pastry. Yeah. There's no fat in it. There's no fat in Philo. Awesome, because you know what? We're going we're to put lots in there. We're going to put lots in there. We're going to add it all in. Okay, so here's the Philo pastry. And it's paper thin. And let's uh, get it opened up. All right, so what we're going to start with is, let me orientate my supplies. I've got my butter, and this is half, one cup of melted butter, real butter, if you want to do it right. So the first thing we're going to do is, now is this separated? Okay, um, pastry brush. There's lots of pastry brushes on the market. Silicone, and this is an actual hairbrush. Silicone is not very good for this. It flings butter everywhere and I get really cranky when I use it. So I have my pastry brush. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to paint on the butter. And Those we're brushes are very cheap. You buy them at the local hardware yeah. or paint shop. Yeah. They're your basic paint brush. Yes they are. So you're going to paint this fairly quickly because it's so dry. You want to move fast. So I'm going to pop this out and double it over. So we're going to start with, there's one layer. So with the baklava we're going to do start with four layers of just pastry. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Two layers so coming The baklava, out. from what country is this uh, originated from? It's from Greece. <laughs> oh, <okay>. Greek night! <laughs> I'm going to put one more coat of butter on there pop this down so now I have my four sheets and if it's if it's a little bit crinkled like that that's okay because when it all bakes up it's just going to be full of buttery nutty goodness so on that layer this is when we start layering our nuts on so that first layer I'm going to give a good coating of nuts so um, I've written up the recipe here of the proportions I use 
quite often I'll uh, double things up on the nuts and the sauces because it never seems like there's enough. So there's that and let's do another layer. Hey, hands on. Okay, so that's helpful too, thank you. So let's paint up this, look at that. Paint up this phyllo and we're gonna just pop it over. So we're gonna do now just one sheet, put a little butter on it, and then we're gonna layer the nuts up again. Layer up the nuts, and then we're gonna keep going until we have about four sheets left. So we're just gonna go to break now. Okay, here's where it's really helpful to have an extra hand. Dad's doing the nuts. I'm doing, let me get a butter on, I'm doing the pastry. So he's sprinkling on the nuts and see right here if you've got a little extra pastry, it's okay if it just gets all squished up because it's going to be nice folds of yummy goodness. So dad's on the nuts and I am on the pastry. And the nice thing about this is it moves along so quickly. It's an amazing dessert and it's one of those things that looks so hard yet it's easy. Oh. Incoming. Okay, let me butter it. And you can do a bigger. Uh, we've got. Yeah, no, we got lots of layers yet left. So we want to just keep on top of uh, distributing those nuts. All right. Oh. <laughs> As we're coming to the final layers, we're almost out of nuts. Just a little bit left. So we're gonna use those on the last layer. And then for the final layers, I'm just going to stack it up so it has a good thick crust of phyllo. So you're just going to, okay, that's great, thank you. Perfect. So here's where I'm just going to keep going until my stack of phyllo is all gone. And as soon as I'm done this, I'll let you know what the next step is. Okay, so here we have the finished baklava. So what we're going to do before we bake it is we're going to cut it. So we're going to cut it across and then on the angle. The secret to it is don't cut it all the way through. Uh, there's a sauce that we're going to pour over it when it's finished cooking. And when you, when you cut it all the way through, it leaks through the bottom. So if you, if you don't cut it all the way through, it just soaks into the middle layer. So here's, here's how it goes. So. So this is a little bit serrated, it's a steak knife. Would you like a sharp knife? No, this is perfect because the serrated knife I just kind of saw through it and not all the way to the bottom. Okay. Why did you cut them square? Because it's a design thing. Oh. They're in diamonds. There you go. So from this point on, we're going to put it in the oven, cook it up till it's golden brown. Probably takes about, uh, I think, half an hour. And uh, while that's cooking, I'm going to make the syrup. So while the baklava is cooking, I'm making the sauce that goes over top. So in the pot, I have one and a half cups water and one and a half cup sugar. And you can see here, the, the sugar is all dissolved. So once it dissolves, I'm going to add in Three quarters of a cup of honey and then I'm gonna let it simmer for 20 minutes let's just get all that good honey out and after it is finished we're gonna pour this over top of the baklava it's gonna soak in and uh, soak into the different layers of phyllo and just coat the nuts in yummy sweetness okay here she blows beautiful baklava Nice. So it's just out of the oven. And this is the syrup that I made while it was cooking. So this is uh, sugar, water, and honey, and a bit of vanilla. And we're supposed to just spoon it right over everything. Spoon it over. You know what? I'm going to just. You want a big spoon? Yeah, let's do this. Woo! Holy smokes! Go big or go home. That's a lot of syrup. Hmm. Oh, I can hear it crackling. Huh. Nice. 
So that's gonna oh hot. That's gonna cool down, and when it's done, it's gonna be nutty, crispy, ooey gooey, honey goodness. So will you use all of the syrup? You know what? I made extra syrup from what the recipe oh, called for. Okay. Because quite often there's never enough. But right now I'm thinking that there's probably enough. It's all wet halfway up the bottom. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be soaked in syrup. So, bring it homemade back. Super easy baklava. Anyone can make it. Even me. Even, even Grandpa can. So, it's time to try the baklava. So if you remember before, we did not cut the dough all the way through. So I'm going to make sure I cut it all the way through so it's easy to grab up. And I see... Grab I, I snuck a little bit. He snuck a little bit and I'm like, hey, we have to film us trying it. So here we are filming this trying <laughs> Sneak out a piece here. Oh, that's a beauty. <gasps> wow, look at that. Mm. Check it out. Get out! That's gorgeous. Mm. Oh, that was a little pig noise I made. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, so I don't have a fork, so I'm just gonna take a bite of this. Mmm. Good. Mmm, right on. Mm, nice crispy top. So. Definitely a recipe you have to try. Bring it homemade back. Rocking the baklava. Have a great night. We'll see you soon. Well, that was tasty. What more can I say than we rocked the baklava? Tune in next time to Bring It Homemade Back. And have a good one.